Hey gang, welcome back. It is Captain Cowboy here with another video. Today we are playing Iron Throne. And with Iron Throne, we are playing the Invasion Rift. So now we're going to go ahead and get ready for the Invasion Rift. So we just finished with the Alliance Raid, and now we want to go ahead and switch all of our gear back to our combat gear for the Invasion Rift. Now, a couple of key factors that you want to keep in mind with the Invasion Rift. It's sort of like the Fallen Knights um, event in... King of Avalon and Guns of Glory, except it is in the reverse. So, what happens is there's a couple portals, and in those portals, those there's a couple of monsters that are attacking the Alliance Fortress, and it is your goal to go ahead and attack those monsters before they can go ahead. A, we got some free gold. Um, go ahead and attack them prior to them being able to hit the Alliance Castle, and when you do this, you get a whole bunch of rewards for it you get points at the end of the event they tally up your points and you, gotta, you know one thing after another you get you get a lot of rewards for it so it's it's challenging because you really need to have a plan together with your own alliance find something that works for your alliance and find something that works for you in order to get this event done effectively without upsetting anyone what I do is we let the first couple rounds, we let only people who want to get one hit in. If you get one hit in, you get all of the participation awards. And then you get some rewards for uh, rank, but we're at a high enough level where everyone is going to get points for sure, um, just by attempting to do it. So you don't really need to worry too much about that. Actually, I'm going to come back to him. This is my deputy, so I want the worst gear on him. I'm going to set the better gear on this guy. So, what I recommend is I say, all right, if you're gonna do one hit, I'll give you the first three, you know, first three sets of rallies to get your hit in, and then everyone else will start participating. But we, at the same time, we're also watching to make sure, like, all right, if these monsters get to the danger zone, like, there's a little timer I'll show you when we're actually doing it. Um, if they get to the danger zone, I'm gonna take over. I'm gonna send my march, and I'm gonna make sure that we can effectively clear because if we allow the monsters to hit our alliance castle, then we lose the event and we're out. So that severely, um, you know, destroys the amount of rewards that you can get from this event, and that is something we do not want happening. So we take charge, uh, we take over, and we will make sure that it gets done. Now, with that being said, we need to be careful because we don't want to upset anyone. Um, so with that. With that, what we're doing is usually recommend that my um, words are not coming to my mind very easily right now because I'm trying to figure this out as well, trying to figure out what gear goes back on who. So I'm just going to start randomly putting gear on other heroes. And I put the wrong helmet on this guy. So anywho, what happens is that after the first couple rounds and everyone gets it. The way that you want to do this in order to get the most amount of points and be the mo be as effective as possible is that you want to send only cavalry. Cavalry have the fastest troop march so you don't need to you know, do any speed marches. Now the thing is if you start speed marching people are going to get upset because people aren't going to be able to attack anything because you're just killing everything in sight. You, if you don't speed march everyone's on a level playing field and you can effectively take over it. Now you can create more of a strategy as in like people have dedicated points that they're going to be attacking. You can utilize voice chat as my lines does in order to coordinate the attacks and coordinate points. There's a whole bunch of different methods that one can utilize in order to be successful in this event. Now with that being said, you need to get it done. You need to be effective and you need to make sure at the end of the day you will speed march anything that comes too close to your alliance castle. So we're almost done here. We're just finishing off our last set of gear, and then we can move forward into doing the invasion rift. So I'm putting on some majestic gear on this fine lady here. You have a 15 minute buffer, by the way. I already posted about it. Uh, I, I said we'll do it in five minutes after the event. That's what I said. But either way, we can do it whenever. Okay. 
So, other th ways that you can go ahead and buff up for this event. March, uh, March size can be one. I haven't needed it yet. Obviously, I have higher stats. Although, none of my stats really pertain to cavalry. And yet, I haven't had a, ne a necessity for it. True March speed. Um, this would be the only kind of buff that I would recommend you do. Uh, um, rather than actually setting individual troop march speed ups simply because troop march speed ups get very expensive when you utilize a lot of them i'm not going to utilize them because i want to give my members an opportunity to do well in this event you can also increase troop attack um i wouldn't recommend any of these other buffs with that um, being said and that's probably about it honestly it's just troop march speed and troop attack um, but I'm not going to buff up. I don't need to worry about that. We have a member applying to our alliance. He's 100 million power. Um, I will send a message for someone to respond to that. Top 5 in Battle Royale currently. Still going hot. Congratulations, my dude. So this guy, yeah, he's free to play, and he's doing really well. Really well is an understatement. guy reach out to you all right Alrighty. so now we can go ahead and start the invasion rift two minutes two minutes two minutes all right so i'm going to make this a two-parter video we'll do this part which was kind of like the lead up to the actual invasion rift and then we'll do the second video which will be the actual invasion rift so thank you all for watching this part one video